In this short video, I'd just like to show you how to share editing rights on a Weebly website back end on the dashboard. So first of all, you need to get to the um, to your Weebly site, which as you'll know is now owned by Squarespace. And so you probably signed in through the Squarespace uh, sign in page and you get to your Weebly editor. So go to the website editor stroke builder that you'll be familiar with. Okay, this is a website that I, I did earlier. Go to settings. Okay, and then as you can see, you've got a, ver a variety of different options under settings. Go to editors, which is this one here. And there's a list of editors. And if you need to share your editing rights with somebody else, you just click on add editor. So here you can see uh, we've got um, admin. Uh, we've got author, we've got dashboard. Now um, author and dashboard sharing just specific things like the ability to edit certain pages, etc. You can do, which is obviously nice, but you can only do that with a higher uh, package than some of the other packages. So um, if you haven't got the, the upgrade that enables you to do that, you'll have to just share admin. Obviously, there's a risk with sharing admin rights. Uh, so make sure that you trust the person you're sharing admin rights with because they can do what you as an administrator can do with the website. Um, and once you've done that, you've got email and a message, you've chosen the permissions and then save editor. And uh, obviously, if there was an email and what have you in there, it would save. And then you'd have a list of your editors here and they should be sent an email. But if you want to um, check to see whether they've seen it, you can click on here and you can go through. And then uh, that is basically what they'll get and they log in with their um, information. OK, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, that's sharing admin rights with um, a Weebly user. And uh, just to confirm how you do that again, go to your web builder page, then uh, go to settings, then go across to editors, add your editor, and then he should be sent or she should be sent an invitation to uh, sign in using the, the email they give you has to be an email associated with their own Weebly or Squarespace account. So if they haven't got a Weebly or Space, Squarespace account, they'll have to set one up, set up the Weebly account because um, obviously Squarespace own Weebly, but set up the Weebly account until they tell you you can't do that and you have to set up Squarespace and then send that email to you as the administrator. Then you add that email as somebody with admin rights on Weebly, then when they sign into their Squarespace account, they'll be able to access your website as one of the sites they've got access to as an admin. Okay, so uh, that is that. Hopefully that's useful. See you soon.